Stop stealing Māori children. That was the stark message delivered to politicians on the steps of Parliament today by several hundred protesters who called for an immediate end to the uplift of Māori kids. The Hands Off Our Tamariki Network handed an open letter signed by more than 17,000 people to Green Party co-leader Marama Davidson demanding control be handed back to Māori. Three inquiries are now underway into Oranga Tamariki's uplifts of children after an investigation into the attempted uplift of a newborn in Hawke's Bay Hospital. Now, since 2013, there's been a 20% increase in the number of Māori babies uplifted by the state. Our reporter, Marnie Dunlop, was at the rally in Wellington and filed this report. Several hundred protesters braved rainy weather in Wellington to take their message to Parliament, demanding that uplifts of Māori children end immediately. Those at the rally run by the Hands Off Our Tamariki Network shared their stories of children being taken from Fano and the intergenerational trauma it has caused. One mother, Stephanie, came to the march because she faced what she called an unnecessary five-year battle in the family court because of Oranga Tamariki. She says her children were eventually returned to her, but they were broken and devastated children. She wants the government to listen to the concerns of parents like her. I want to see uh, evidence, solid evidence, put before courts before any orders are made. Everybody deserves a chance. Another protester, Lizzie Strickett, who works in maternal care research, was there to support Māori midwives. This isn't a new fight. Māori midwives have been doing this for over 100 years to keep whānau protected. Um, and I think that those within our system who are talking about this being a service issue or a broken system, this is incorrect. You know, this system was designed this way. It was designed to oppress and disconnect our whānau from one another. And no more, you know, our whānau are our model of health. They are the system that we need to be preserving and protecting. The open letter calls on the government to stop stealing Māori children from their whakapapa and asks for the ministry in charge to be overhauled and restructured in line with kaupapa Māori. Oranga Tamariki came under renewed scrutiny this year after the attempted uplift of a newborn from its mother at Hawke's Bay Hospital. Jean Tehuia was one of the midwives at the centre of that case. She says Oranga Tamariki's policies are racist and it is continuing to hurt iwi and hapū. When we look at the statistics of children in state care today, their third, fourth and fifth generation, so some of them are telling me that their children, they are children of state care, their parents were and their grandparents were, and to me it looks like they're targeted. So we have intergenerational families of children who are going into care because they have already been pre-empted. Academic Dr Rawiri Waritsini Karina says the practice of taking babies from Māori has been going on far too long. He says the state is participating in the annihilation of Māori dim. If you think about the um, uh, UN definition of genocide, well, part of that process is uh, the taking of babies uh, and giving them to caregivers not of that culture. And so for me, uh, um, what that actually means, if that's the definition of genocide, why is Oranga Tamariki or even this New Zealand government implicit in genocidal practices? He says enough is enough. Uh, Māori for Māori, uh, we need to look after our own. And uh, we have the you know, the capacity uh, for Aroha because they're ours. MPs including the acting Prime Minister Calvin Davis briefly addressed the protest which was met with shouting from the crowd. He said he supports the Minister for Children Tracy Martin and her mahi and says she is making the changes that the protesters are asking for. Tracy Martin says changes that kicked in at the start of this month ensure the ministry must commit to its treaty of Waitangi obligations and prioritise the whakapapa of children in their care. Everything they are asking for with regard to the fact that a government department cannot raise children, the fact that the best place for children is in loving families, all those things we don't disagree with. Smaller protests were held in other centres today. In a statement, Oranga Tamariki says it acknowledges the protest action and it accepts that people feel strongly about these issues. In Sifanganui Atara, Kumani Dunlop Tene.